Hello, and good evening. We are back in a little bit for us, um, but uh, we are we're ready to start something new. So this game came out a month and a half ago ish at this point. Still pretty new. Um, it's called Process of Elimination, murder mystery type thing. I've seen, I was just, I don't know, waffles. I've seen a little bit of this. I watched a uh, playthrough of it through like the end of chapter one ish, and I was like, okay, okay, let's, we should do this on stream. So then I stopped, and I haven't seen anything past that. So, beginning of it will be mostly what I've seen, though. It's, I saw some of that a little while ago. So I don't know how much I'll specifically remember, but uh, I know a few things here and there, but I, I'm, I'm excited. This, sh this should be fun. So uh, yeah, let's jump, let's jump into it. All right, let's do it. <clears throat> it's a rainy day in June with clouds covering the entire nation. The live broadcast of a new gaming release is suddenly disrupted. That's right. Uh, also, yeah, so the, the voices are in Japanese, so we have to read all the things. Um, I'm debating whether I want to just turn off the voices entirely just to make it a little easier, but I also kind of like getting like a feel for how characters are supposed to sound, so I'm not entirely sure what I want to do there. I mean, um, I... In my opinion, I would say let's leave it for now and see how it goes. Yeah, I think I'm gonna... Wait, can I menu here? Okay, I think I want to just turn them down so okay. it's a little easier to talk over them. Yeah, fair uh, Yeah, we'll do that. This is kind of what we did with Digimon Survive. We turned them real low. Okay. <laughs> Pardon me, but I'm conducting a quick survey on one side. On one side, a recent grad. On the other, a total shut-in. Who do you despise more? Oh, they're talking to us. Uh, what do we hate? The, the grad. I mean, what, yeah. he needs to how, be a stubby, educated how person. How dare he Come get on. educated? Jeez, what the hell's wrong with them? Thank you for your response. Now with that, uh, what happened to the stream? No. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, thank you for your response. Now, without any further ado, this loathsome grad shall disappear before your very eyes. This individual is hereby condemned to the fate of a quarter doll. Mm. Like they said it. <laughs> Hello, dear consumers, and adieu to the consumed. How did it feel, dismembering the reviled with, with a simple press of a button? Quite good, no? Downright refreshing, even. It's best to eliminate those who don't share your values. Majority rules, after all. Whatever bloke thought that up was truly a sadistic genius. The opposition may be trampled, but there exists no better system. The path to peace must be painted by the blood of the minority. Those behind this policy, the eminent among the many, give less thought to the few than they would an ant. I must hand it to them, it's simply ruthless. Oh, don't look at me like that. It was a joke, a joke. I wouldn't want to get cancelled on social media over this. <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> oh, goodness, this won't do. No, no, no. I've neglected to introduce myself, so sorry. I am his grace, or is it your grace? Let's say your grace, the quartering duke. An entertainer come to bring amusement to your world. <laughs> From now on, every soul in this nation will be provided with entertainment to stir the mind. So please, indulge until you're full to bursting. Should you object to your grace's choice of recreation, you are invited to try and reveal his true nature. Such a show couldn't exist without diversity, you see. For this is a clash between tragic, savage, carnage, and the comical, cultural stylings of justice. Oh, we currently have about 5,000 viewers, then. For tonight's final act, a question from your grace to all viewers at home. Yeah. 
individual within the animal suit became a shut-in after experiencing vicious bullying at school. No love for his mother who raised him alone. Every day he would hit and yell at her. Before long, she fell ill and died without his notice. One second. I don't know what's it's confusing. <laughs> Are you serious? Okay, I had to change. I had to change my headphones. Should have done that before gotcha. stream. Okay, now. Okay, okay. Uh, did I read this already? I think I did. Uh, yeah, yes. This individual was saved by your first impression. With that, I ask, do you still like him? Should over half the viewers say so, I'll release him. Well, that's fun. Uh, I like him. <laughs> you like him? I like him. <laughs> yeah, you know what? He seems like a good guy. Mm -hmm. Seems not even 500 people liked him. A shame. Nothing short of a tragedy, truly. Sorrow is too much to bear. Okay, well, I guess we didn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> However, the quartering do the, ah, the quartering do snaps his fingers. That is what makes this the very finest entertainment. Oh, brutal. Alas, it will soon be time to part ways. As for myself, your duke, that is, I am the enemy of those who mindlessly consume, and a friend to those consumed. Thus, I take my leave. Do enjoy the show. The video cuts off at 4 minutes 52 seconds. As a hacked broadcast, those who ran the website were powerless to stop it. The video, just shy of 5 minutes, is shared across the net, mostly among the youth. But things don't end with that. Not just the broadcasted victims, but others killed in the same manner are soon discovered. The common thread? At least two victims are always found at once, with their lock screen set to the symbol of the quartering duke. The police pour all their resources into investigating the case, but turn up nothing. Pair by pair, more and more bodies surface. Until half a year later, over 100 have been killed since that first broadcast. The sheer number of victims and brutality of the murders fling society into chaos. The Quarter Duke? An entertainer? What? What's he? What he's doing is basically a snuff show. I grip my t I grip my phone tight as I read articles about the murders, speaking aloud despite myself. I've seen the effects of this duke all around me. People are terrified to go outside, and stores have even shortened their hours. What's worse, he gained some traction among young copycats taken by his charisma. With the police overwhelmed, small private agencies like mine are in huge demand. Apparently, even the FBI is getting involved. Past events had already st stoked the need for this line of work, but the Duke has only made things worse. The media jeers at the detective craze. So, yep, here we have our main character, who's definitely not Shuichi, and is definitely not a detective. I mean, you know, I mean, it, it, look at his hair. I mean, that, that just says it all, you know? That's true. He even has the Aho guy. You're right. He couldn't be the main character. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Gunjoji says the ideal society is a peaceful one where detectives are starved for work. He may be right about that. As I lay in wait for my mark, I recall my mentor's words inside of myself. I work for the Gunjoji Detective Agency. It's probably one of the punier agencies around. 
Though nowadays we're buzzing with activity. I'm a student working part-time, but they plan to recruit me once I've graduated. The situation must be getting pretty serious nationwide. An ideal society has no use for detectives, huh? Yeah, murder killing game. This looks like a job for a teenager. Exactly. It's a <laughs> Teenagers are the only ones who can solve problems in anime. This is just a fact. <laughs> the thought alone makes me a bit miserable. Is this, the, is this the reality faced by all aspiring detectives? Okay, that's enough of that. My worries run wild when I'm on my own. It's a bad habit, but I've got to focus on work. There he is. My mark is on the move. After a moment's pause, the man clad in a trench coat starts off down the road again. I make sure I'm out of earshot before calling in my report, just as my mentor instructed. Wato here. The target's on the move. He's headed right where you predicted, Mr. Kinchoji. I'll stay on the lookout for any traps as I continue tailing him. Quieting my steps, I follow the man cautiously. He's our top suspect in the serial pet killer case. And according to Mr. Gunjoji, he may be armed. Whatever I do, I absolutely cannot allow my presence to be detected. You want to take this old guy? Sure. Can I help you? What? Suddenly, the man is right in front of me, and I reflexively take a step back. Did he notice me following him? Despite the cover of darkness and my voice being out of earshot? Huh? Oh, no. I'm all good. I'm, uh, actually running late for cram school, so gotta go. This late at night, huh? Really? As I try to move past him, the man blocks my path. I doubt you'll make it a time if you keep matching my pace and stopping every time I do. Your expression gives everything away. Minus one point. Not that you should really be that surprised. You would only stop on a completely empty street like this if you were tailing someone. That, or checking if someone's tailing you. So the very act of pausing here was a trap. Ugh, how could I make such a rookie mistake? It didn't even register with me. I have no one to blame but myself. You're a fresh face. Who are you? Certainly no detective or policeman, given your noisy, slipshod attempt at shadowing me. No detective? Blood rushes to my face. I've poured everything into becoming a detective. His words sting worse than a slap to the face. There's no way I could just let it slide. Don't patronize me. I'm Wanto Hojo, assistant at the Gunjoji Detective Agency. We already know you've been snooping around here, and that you have a knife. You're suspected of severe animal abuse. Now come quietly. I'm turning you into the police. I'd hoped the edge of my voice would intimidate him. The man only lets out an exasperated sigh. Hmm. Actually, giving out your name? Minus three points. <laughs> this isn't some TV show, kid. Real detectives never reveal their true identities. Yeah, it's a, it's a video game. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you can't get enough of those over-the-top crime dramas, can you? Uh... As much as I hate it, he's read me like a completely open book. The moment a detective reveals himself always seems so cool on television. But he's right, sharing your identity in this line of work is far too dangerous. Something to keep in mind next time. And does a detective's assistant plan to arrest me all on his own? A grown man you fully believe to be armed? The man slides his hand into his pocket and readies his stance. He's clearly holding a weapon. This isn't the first time I've gone up against someone armed with a knife, but I still feel my hair standing on end. Especially that one really big one on top. <laughs> my heart slams frantically against my ribcage as I freeze up, willing my trembling legs to remain steady. 
No. I know I'm not ready for that, so instead I call for backup. I just need to buy time until my boss arrives. You think you can buy yourself time, Mr. Wannabe Detective? I will. In fact, I have to. One of the pets you killed belonged to a classmate of mine. She's still terrified and traumatized as a result of your prowling about. Being a detective, it's my duty to stop you. Bring you to justice is the only way to restore the peace in her life. I'll be damned if I let you escape. I tear off my jacket and wrap it around my left wrist to form a makeshift glove, a guard against his knife. In my dominant hand, I grip a pair of handcuffs like brass knuckles. Armed as best as I can, I face off with the man. What if he has a gun? Yeah, I was thinking that the whole time. Like, he never pulled out, the, uh, pulled the thing out of his pocket. So I was like, it could just be a gun. <laughs> hmm. The man just watches me, showing no signs of movement. Good. He's probably never seen anyone use handcuffs for self-defense before. I pat myself on the back. <laughs> It's only natural he'd be wary. Really self-confident there. I learned this trick from Mr. Gunjoji. What's great about it is that it never fails to catch people by surprise the first time. I need to stall this out, even if it's just for a little while. Keeping this face off going is my top priority. The Ikusa School of Arrest Techniques, I take it. Quite the rare fighting style picked up, boy. Huh? I'm struck speechless. What are the odds he'd know this tactic? I fumble for an answer, but my mind goes blank. Paralyzed in the face of an enemy? Minus five points. Don't expect odd techniques to phase a man of my age. It would work on your typical criminal, however, and you were quick to adapt when all odds were stacked against you. That's an exemplary quality in a detective. You get 10 points, kid. I see why the chief endorsed you. I was kind of thinking that maybe, like, because he didn't take out a weapon, maybe this is a test. Yeah. Yeah. That may yeah, it could just be that this, yeah. It definitely could be. The man suddenly backs down and speaks with a smile. Wait, what? Is this another trap? Glancing my way, he continues. Sorry for the misunderstanding. The culprit you've been looking for is the victim's neighbor. I've already handed him over to the police. No job, no comfort, no direction in life. Until he became obsessed with the quartering dude and decided to follow in his footsteps. Uh, oh, uh, looks like someone's at the door. I'm getting push notifications for the doorbell, so I will be back. You can continue. That'll okay, right. yeah. Uh, I'll be back. Yep. They won't. Uh, he couldn't work up the he couldn't work up the nerve to hack people apart, but animals gave him no trouble at all. Disgusting. Who who are you exactly? Upon hearing my question, the man pulls what looks to be a tablet out of his pocket. The screen shows a familiar symbol and the words "Detective Alliance." The Detective Alliance. I can't help but yell out the name. Detective Alliance, the very organization I revere more than anything else. That's right, I'm part of the Detective Alliance, the only government-recognized detective organization in the country. Sure, an aspiring detective like yourself has heard of it. Of course, it's a mysterious coalition of 100 renowned detectives that always sends the perfect match for the job. The Alliance has solved every case it's ever had, and each of its members has an alias based on their defining traits. <laughs> Looks like you know quite a bit about this mysterious coalition, detective fanboy. Uh, as I calm down, my face begins to burn bright red. I let my excitement carry me away on a totally nerdy rant. Still, the Detective Alliance has been the dream I've aspired to ever since I learned about it from Mr. Kajoji. That D-pad you're holding is a hallmark of none other than the Alliance itself. You really are a detective, aren't you? Bingo. Call me Senior Detective. Been in the Alliance for eons. Though these days, I mostly scout recruits and provide support. 
Still, none of the younger generation can out investigate me. Especially with the cases as cold as that pet killer one. As prideful as he sounds, I can tell by his expression that he's speaking purely from well earned experience. He has an air about him that's unlike anyone I've ever met, the kind that could only come from a member of the Detective Agency, or Detective Alliance. As secretive as it is, the Detective Alliance has grown more famous by the day thanks to the recent detective craze. Even now, the news is full of stories about the cases cracked by Detective Alliance members. Then there's all the terrorist plots in the wake of the Quartering Duke, incidents that they've thwarted with almost zero leads. The whole reason I joined a detective agency was to carve a path to earning a spot alongside those detectives one day. Uh, looked up to by detectives far and wide, the Detective Alliance is the absolute paragon for those pursuing justice. I apologize for my... I apologize for my rudeness, senior detective. Sir, sh shouting accusations to you and I couldn't be more clueless. Don't be, I was egging you on. After all, no need for the sir, either. In our field, the alias itself serves as the title of respect. Though senior detective amicably shrug shrugs off my apology, his unshakable calm only makes me wearier of where this is going. Warier. But... Then, as if noticing how on edge I look, he continues to speak. I'll cut I'll cut to the chase. I'm here to scout you. We plan to meet at our base of operations to discuss how to handle the Quartery Duke incidents, and we want you to attend. Uh, huh? I respond lamely, unable to fully grasp what he's saying. I'll say it again. We want you to join our investigation of the Quartering Duke case as a member of the Detective Alliance. What? The sound I make is so shrill and alien, I scare even myself. Pinch my sh cheek to make sure this isn't just some dream. Oh, nope, not a dream. Maybe this is Mr. Gunjoji's idea of a prank. No sign of him anywhere, so... Probably not. Which means... This... Isn't a joke, right? Not at all. We've received direct orders from the government to put an end to the Quarry Duke's reign of terror. Chosen few detectives will convene at HQ to solve this case and take down the most vile homicidal maniac of the century. My mind goes blank again, but if this is real, then my dream is coming true far sooner than I ever imagined. There was so much I could learn, so many accomplished detectives I could meet. Ideal detectives, like the, one I, the ones I aspire to be. The kind who could have prevented the tragedy that unfolded before my eyes ten years ago. I'm sure you have a million questions. I want to hear what you intend first. Will you join us at the table and help stop the quartering duke? Give me your answer. Yes or no? I... How can I hesitate? I state my intentions loud and clear. <laughs> I wonder which I should pick. So let me see something. Um, so there are... Actually, I just want to see what that looks like. The moment I try to answer, Senior Detective's arm hooks around my neck and begins to squeeze like a vice. It's so tight I can't breathe. I flail and kick frantically, but all, all I hit is the air on the ground below my feet. I feel a prick as a slender needle pierces the skin of my neck. Ugh. What feels like liquid ice begins to pump through my veins. My skin turns pale, my limbs go numb, and my strength fades. The vision blurs and my legs start to give out. I sag against the man restraining me. And then, as if the stars have been swept from the night sky, everything goes black. 
Well, it's true that I asked. There was never actually the option to refuse. For you see, you have a duty to attend. The Detective Elimination Project. Oh, that's the name of the game. It's, they did the thing. They showed the title. Um. So, we still in the prologue, technically. That's what I want to know. No, that was actually it was a pretty quick prologue. Uh. I don't think the chapters in this game are actually too, too long, all things considered. Uh, that could be a little bigger. Cool. Uh, ah, I haven't felt this way in a long time. My consciousness drags sluggishly as if I'm trapped in thick mud helplessly sinking deeper and deeper. As much as I try to shut it out, that tra traumatic nightmare pulls me in once again. In my dream, I'm running down a dark, frigid corridor, holding tight to the hand of a girl my age. Watto, I can't run anymore. You need to go on without me. You have to escape. What are you saying, Saika? We're getting out of here together. I made a promise, didn't I? Except he's like, N here, so I guess I should use a different voice, but it's fine. Just All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. My uh, uh, neighbor yo. wanted to, my neighbor brought fish over that her husband caught, so I'm like, okay, let's hurry this up. Thank you, but F That's off. Right. <laughs> did, you, did you hear what was going on? I uh, No, I just, I just. Oh, you didn't, you didn't have audio? Okay, so I'll just. Briefly explain what the fuck happened. Uh, he basically revealed that he is a member of the Detective Alliance, which is some prestigious agency of like the 100 best detectives in the world. And then he was like, I'm scouting you for the Alliance after after Watto went through like this whole thing about how like he that's like his dream is to be part of the Alliance. And then he's like, I'm scouting you for the Alliance. And he's like, oh, my God, there's no way. And before we could say yes, that we want to be part of it, he he basically knocked us unconscious take us by force regardless of our answer uh so yeah so we we're unconscious right now and now we're having a flashback to events from 10 years ago what my legs the girl is beautiful with bewitching bewitching black hair pure white skin and light purple eyes reminiscent of hydrangeas i think that's how that's pronounced hydrangeas i think I don't know. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm actually gonna just Google that real quick, quick because I. Yeah, I, I uh, think it's hy hydrangeas. Sure. You're probably right. Uh. I do know that's coming, gonna come up again, which is the only reason why I'm bothering. Gotcha. Okay. Hydrangeas. Yep. 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 Uh. I remember nothing else about her, but I'm sure that at the time she was very precious to me. And then, right before my eyes, a blade swings down and slashes her, covering her in a, in a burst of red. Saika, no. why? I clutch onto her before she collapsed and faced the criminal that did this to her. Ah, <laughs> yeah. The massive, unmistakably inhuman silhouette emits a strange mechanical whir. Its murderous intent is nearly enough to pierce through flesh as it focuses on me and prepare to die as no more than a child. But at that moment... Go, Watto! The girl in my arm strains to get the words out as her voice begins to fail. I might escape if I leave her down and run. But maybe I can still save her. There's no way I can just abandon her. You have to live. Become the, the hero who will save everyone. No. 
What is my is, is this my hero now? What? <laughs> That's all I can remember. My memory cuts out completely as if the next page has been torn out. However, since I'm alive, it's obvious what came after. I traded Psyche's life to save my own. This was the mass kidnapping and confinement incident I was in a decade ago, the reason I became a detective. A shadow reorganization took 16 children, that's an interesting number, and locked them in an underground mm -hmm. prison for a month, never to be caught. Interesting. This sounds from oddly familiar. Just, just saying. Yeah, just saying. Am I supposed to just live with that, with the sacrifice that came out of that? Like Psyka? I was too incompetent to save one girl, but I refuse to leave it there. My heart and soul demand I see it through. I will become a great detective, a hero, and one day I'll reveal the truth behind what happened ten years ago. Oh. I finally come to. My eyelids are so heavy. Just opening them is an undertaking. That was one long dream. It was one I've had countless times before. Of that fateful day, I swore I'd become a detective. That incident remains unsolved to this day. What really happened all those years ago? As a survivor, the vague testimony you provided didn't help much. The case has gone cold for ten years now. I've got to find the truth. To track down the villain who killed Saika, the girl I owe my life to. That's why I entered this line of work. But that aside, my whole body is aching right now. The mattress feels like a rock and smells like... Rust? I managed to pry my eyes open, but everything's pitch black. What's more, I can't even move. My limbs are restrained, like I've been wrapped in some kind of sleeping bag. Don't tell me I'm trapped in here. Wh what's going on? Mustering all my strength, I try to warm my way out. Suddenly, my vision is flooded by, by a bright light. Huh? Whatever restrained me slacken slackens as my own momentum forces me upright. Site I met with is the forest, and that sound are those ocean waves. It's the digital world. I know. I was literally thinking that. It's literally <laughs> like it feel. It looks. I mean, it's it's not that similar, but it like oh, it's like this. It's like it in Digimon Survive. You just open up to <laughs> that like f like generic forest CG. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Lush woodland lies before my eyes. Weird creatures are running around. What are these? A Digimon. Or a bunch of Monokumas. It's like, watch. <laughs> yeah, they're <laughs> all just <laughs> Monokuma versions of Digimon, so we just want like a, a half black, half white Agumon. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I pressed the wrong button. I was like, well, this scene is really taking a while. I pressed the, the apparently, yeah, the B button makes the text box go away. I pre I meant to press the A button. Yeah, um, watch you're stuck with uh, 15 other kids that are just, just happen to be all ultimate detectives. Oh, man. <laughs> well, I mean, we are, we did join the, the agency of all the ultimate detectives, so. <laughs> <laughs> Beneath me is an old rusty locker. Yes, that's what I've been stuffed in. And just a second ago, oh my god, it's a locker, too. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Youch, my whole body's killing me. How long was I crammed inside this thing? Who would do this to me? Why? When did I even get here? What the heck is going on? My head swirls in confusion as I try to recall what happened last. That's right. I met that old man, senior detective. That was his name, by the way. I didn't actually, you, you, <laughs> I didn't explain that part. They have they all, everyone in the agency has like a a title uh, mm -hmm. that describes them. That guy was senior detective because he's old. Uh, ah, <laughs> I, so I'm it's guessing. not even like it, it's not a title senior detective. He's just an old detective, so he's a senior detective, but not a senior detective. No, no, that is his title. <laughs> Okay. okay, but he's I also old. Meant, like, no, oh, no, th that is his title. Like he's known as the senior detective. 
<laughs> and then... The haziness clears as I begin to remember I was suddenly attacked by Senior Detective and eventually lost consciousness. He claimed to be part of the Detective Alliance, but maybe that was just a bluff. Wait, if he was lying about being part of the DA... That means the pet killer is still at large. I've got to get back ASAP. From wherever we are. I reach to grab my smartphone, but after a frantic search, I realize that my front pockets have been emptied. As I continue searching my person, I notice an unfamiliar weight in my back pocket. That's weird. I don't normally keep stuff back there. Suspicious, I carefully pluck the foreign object from my pocket. It's a tablet device. Like an oversized smartphone, more or less. The moment I see it, though, a chill runs down my spine. No way, is this... A digivice? <laughs> yeah! Oh my god. <laughs> He's gonna say, because the other guy had one of these, and it had, like, the logo and everything. He's like, oh, that's the sign of the Detective Alliance. But I like that better. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of find my Digimon... <laughs> <laughs> Could you? I I wonder. I mean, like, do they in the newer like seasons of Digimon? Do they just have like Digivice tablets now? Is that a thing? I mean, I we're imagine. in the tech, we're in a, you know the more advanced technological era. I mean, they should. Yeah, I mean, they're actually I, one of the seasons I remember was literally like app monsters, and they were all like mobile apps or something. So I they probably did do that. Yeah, to Digivolve, oh. you just uh, go into the app and you know. You just go the into the app. You you download a you download a down a, a, a Digivolve file and you know, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, lift it up, touching the buttons out of habit. Then a notification appears. Authentication successful. Oh, I think this is the old the old guy. Oh, okay. Good morning, Wato Hojo. Seems you've got your D pad working. Sure you were drugged, but sakes alive, boy. Out cold for three days straight, minus one point. Only one, that's good. <laughs> As the tablet comes to life, a familiar voice emanates from its speaker. This is Senior Detective, the agent who brought you here. We made three days ago. Though to you, I suppose it'd feel like it only just happened. Wait, I was out for three days? So Senior Detective was the one reaching out to me. I knew I recognized his voice from before. Still, his tone is pretty nonchalant for a kidnapper. I can't help but feel irritated. Well, I'm certain you think, you think I've deceived you. You are, in fact, the newest member of the Detective Alliance. If you doubt me, View the detective roster on your D-pad, an electronic device you know as a trademark of the Alliance. As an official member of the Alliance, your personal information should already be recorded in the database. I got that from Google. You can get it, you can find anything on Google. <laughs> uh, I open up the tablet and look through the roster you mentioned there. I find my profile beginning with my full legal name. Wato Hojo, detective rank number 100. Yep, that's me. Even less details only Mr. Gunjoji would know, like my skills and work experience. Ouch, my special skill is housework? I'm no great detective, sure, but that's a low blow. wonder what else is on here. I list other detective ranks and al aliases too, not to mention intel and investigation statuses on recent atrocities. Heck is this? New mystery game thing. Uh, not Rampa, but it's kind of similar-ish, maybe. We'll see. It might be similar-ish. Mm -hmm. We just started, so we don't really know much yet, but yeah. Uh, from the latest incidents all the way back to before I was born, it's a robust selection of key documents about cases infamous to the public. Far too much for one person to read, frankly. Even at a glance, most of the content seems to be highly technical in nature. This is way too much effort for a prank. Meaning the DA really did recruit me. I trust what Senior Detective says? So I've actually been rec recruited by the Detective Alliance. This isn't a joke, right, Senior Detective, sir? 
You're listening to a recording at present. An emergency came up, so I've hidden you in the woods while I go to address it. Oh, perfect timing. I'm mentioning that. Yeah, so he, so he recorded it, and so he just, and like, somehow knew he'd wake up three days later. <laughs> what the well, hell? I'm guessing, I'm guessing the recording started when he turned on the iPad. Sorry, the D-pad. <laughs> D-pad. <laughs> That's but, like, what it's called, so, so, yeah. So, so did he just have, like, a f several recorded messages? Oh, it took you one day. Okay, that's all right. It took you two days. Uh, oh, yeah, not, it's true. How would we know how you long struck. it took? <laughs> that's yeah, a good like... fucking point. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, he's a great detective. They know things. That's actually oh, a really freaking good point. That's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, or it's day I generated. <laughs> yes. Oh my goodness, that's ridiculous. <laughs> uh, oh, so that's how it is. I assume this was a phone call, but I guess that's not the case. Oops. Uh, you really are a shitty detective if you can figure that one out. Jeez. Yeah, really. The device's settings must have been configured to play this voice message as soon as it finished authenticating. When you're ready, open the map on your D-pad, then make your way through the woods and head for the manor at the peak. You can also try, uh, you can also, uh, quick spawn there. Yeah. Once there, you should meet the others. I promise to head over, the, head over myself once I'm able, so just wait for me in the front of the manor. Yeah, once you get there the first time, you'll, you'll, there'll be a waypoint when you touch that, then you'll be able to just fast travel there. Don't ask me how that, how the hell that works. <laughs> One last thing. Do not, under any circumstance, enter the structure you'll see along the way. Unauthorized entry will result in far worse than a subtraction of points. Follow my orders, like your very life depends on it. Senior Detective speaks without pause. The moment he's finished, the sound cuts out abruptly. I stand there in a daze, holding the tablet, my new D-pad, in one hand. I, I, I kind of... The weird thing about it being called a D-pad is just, like, that's a thing. It's a directional pad, so it's, like, it's a weird yeah. name for it. But... Yeah, also, it what it just kind of came to mind is, uh, when he said, oh, there'll be a structure, don't enter it. It's like it, what came up in my mind was the Family Guy scene where he's like, I want to get a cave just so I can say, hey, you kids, don't go in that cave. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah. It's like, what? Okay, well, we won't. Maybe we'll see it. We'll know it when we see it. <laughs> well, if we see any hot women, uh, definitely trust them. Just immediately. That's just true. Put all your faith in them. That is and the it, one it, thing I learned from, from the Digimon Survive playthrough. <laughs> just trust trust the hottest woman you find. They they definitely aren't tricking you. Um and aren't a giant spider. Uh I I lift my head and peer through the tree line, making out the shape of a mountain with an imposing man resting on its summit. Is that the building senior detective was referring to? Well, I don't fully trust him. My options are limited. Rest for choice, I open the map application on my tablet. Various graphics appear on screen displaying the surrounding area. All that blue surround all that blue surrounding everything must be the ocean, which means I've been taken to a remote island. Morgue. Is that the name of this place? Never heard of it. Could I be in a foreign country or something? Either way, getting all gloomy won't solve things. I use my fingers to zoom in on the map, hoping to find more into in info to go off of. The screen then displays my current location and a few details about the vicinity. Just as senior detective said, there seems to be some sort of manor atop the peak, plus another structure near the tree line. Without any other clues to guide me, I decided to follow senior detective's instructions for now. Oh, I need to register my detective alias on here. But I don't have any talents, and I definitely regret putting something random. Hmm... Hmm. Nope, I've got nothing. I'm just a loser. Yeah. I'm the loser detective. There we go. Perfect. The tablet hums quietly as I trek on. Before long, I see a parting in the trees. A massive heliport stretches before me. 
To its right sits a relatively small three-story building. Though it blocks my line of sight, I assume that the manor is just up ahead at the top of the hill. This structure here must be the one senior detective warned me against entering. Not like I really trust the guy, so I'm admittedly a bit curious to sneak a peek inside. But as soon as the, thro the thought crosses my mind, a sudden sense of unease washes over me. On my tablet's map, I see num numerous circular icons displayed within the building's walls. Not just a handful, either. Dozens of icons crowd around like ants swarming over food. <laughs> Judging by my own marker on the map, I think these icons are all... people? But if that's the case, what does this mean? My apprehension refuses to die down. I get the sense that just going in there would only end in regret, which is a senior detective had warned. I need to decide my next step carefully. They're all just clones of him, and uh, if this one fails, they kill him and then <laughs> let the next one <laughs> wake yeah. up in the locker again and start over and seeing which one is a success. <laughs> you're not just lame, you're all so generic. We made you! <laughs> uh, I will... Ooh. Interesting. Do we want to hmm, try? I mean, this is I a save. Of... This is like the point where we would want to save. Actually, there's like a. I, I would say like a... yes, yeah, save, and I do oh, want to enter the building. Uh, there's like a quick save thing, right? I was looking at the this earlier before we started stream. There's a <clears throat> there's a bunch of things, a bunch of like shortcuts I can set up on the controls, which is really cool. Um, so I can do a quick save with ZL. Nice. Okay. Yeah, let's enter nice the sentence. building. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's Screw what senior detective says. He's getting senile anyway. No doubt about it. I've got to check this building out first. It'd be risky to just blindly trust senior detective after all. These circular icons are obviously people, which would indicate others are already in there. Makes a lot more sense to meet with them here instead of wandering around on my own. Senior detective must be trying to prevent me from joining up with anyone else. That's gotta be it. Speak aloud, desperately trying to calm my frantic heartbeat with great trepidation. I slowly approach the entrance. A dark shadow is faintly visible from the glass door of the building. Just as I had suspected, there are other people here. Without a moment of hesitation, I push the glass door open and rush inside. Hello, I'm a new member of the Detective Alliance, and... My voice hitches and my eyes widen like saucers as my train of thought comes to a grinding halt. All from the shock of seeing the horrific scene that lay before me. A large mound rests in the open space beyond the entryway. A haphazard pile, blackened and dead, reeking of rotten cheese and fetid garbage. Convincing myself that it's fake, I draw closer, then I lock eyes with one. Its cloudy gaze a stark reminder of our shared mortality. It's heartbreaking. It's heartbreakingly clear this corpse once belongs to a living being. Well, that is how... That is what happens with corpse. That is what a corpse is, isn't it? Ugh. My stomach lurches, its contents spilling from my mouth. I can't take it. Sinking to my knees, I suck, suck in heavy breaths as my heart hammers so hard it threatens to burst. Senior Detective must have known. Regret fills me for not heeding his warning. I want to run, to break away and leave this place forever. I desperately focus all my energy into every lungful of air I take. But my pulse won't slow down. In fact, it keeps growing faster. My chest burns like it's on fire. No matter how hard I try to inhale, my chest only aches more and more. But finally, I can no longer breathe. What is happening? I can't... Instincts tell me I've got to get outside, but my limbs are numb from the lack of oxygen. Heavy and useless as if I'm deep underwater. I crawl, inching along like a caterpillar. The exit is too far away. The feeling of doom overwhelms me as my strength ebbs away. I can't breathe. I need air. I can't take any more of this. Please, help me. Desperate, I try to scream but can't muster a sound. The pain is agonizing, and the thoughts leave my head. Despite knowing no one will save me, my mind still cries out. Help. Someone please help. 
I can't breathe. It hurts. I need to get out. I don't want to die. Help somebody, please help me. Help me. And then a lot more of those. Help me, help me, help me, help me, help me. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Something snaps. My vision fails, but at least the pain in my chest is finally gone. Well, that was fun. So. Oh, right. That was a good game. So, yeah. Iron Man? Oh, cool. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess it'll be like, uh, wait, huh? What? Like, it'll be, I guess it, they'll take it as, uh, oh, he's getting like hot flashes or you know, something like, yeah. oh, I'm getting a sense. Maybe I shouldn't go in. Huh. With a start, I see the heliport stretching before me once more. I take deep breaths, trying to calm myself. The ear tastes good somehow. Not sure why, but I feel like I just woke up from a nightmare. 